Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? All I know is I ain't letting anyone rip my throat out in my sleep. I found myself a nice play, Doc. <laughs> I'm ready. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. As long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, oh, I like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting? A medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. 
boss had cut me good. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Perhaps you're right. Maybe only the strongest will survive in these dark times. If there must be only one, in the end, Make no mistake, I'll be the winner. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Please, I feel sick. Get over it. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful.
Braille. I need someone who can read this. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire.
Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds... risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom Watts about him. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Times like these are good. Drink's just as likely to cause a problem. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. 
quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Damn it. I think drink no longer stirs. Poor oh, Jack. Clients. He oh, didn't deserve didn't this. this. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throgmorton. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by Clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Goodbye, Miss Cox. Pleasure, sir. 